Hello and welcome to my channel, Mind's Eye and Inspiration. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini for the month of June 2021. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with everybody. So please just take what resonates with you. And if it doesn't resonate with you this month, then do come back next month because next month might be your month. I shall put a link in the description box below to this book here, The Spirit Within, which I've got available on Amazon. I co-wrote that book with my sister and my sister also has a YouTube channel where she does monthly readings for each star sign and that's called Anything Spiritual. I will also put the link to Anything Spiritual in the description box below so that you can click on that and visit my sister's YouTube channel and get your monthly reading from her as well. Okay, Gemini, let's see what the month of June 2021 has got in store for you wow it looks really good oh we'll move these cards along here that's it and then you can uh, see them that's better right so this is uh, you now and this is the eight of wands so the eight of wands shows that um there has been some minor challenges and they will only be little minor obstacles and challenges that have been in your way. Some little bumps in the road. Um, it could just be that things have been delayed or um, things are just taking their time coming to you. But you are on your road to where you want to be. You can overcome any hurdles that come your way. You've got the strength, the knowledge and the intellect to deal with these challenges. You have got an offer or an opportunity coming to you in the month of June, Gemini. So that's really, really good. So this can be, it's an, a cups offering. So this could even be um, the offer of a relationship. This could be a date. Um, it could be a career, a creative passion, a job. It's just something that fulfills you emotionally. It could even be like a hobby or something, but you're going to have an offer or an opportunity come your way in June, which is going to make you feel really happy. The seven of coins there as well. So I do think whatever this is, um, it can help you financially as well. Your money, you got your um, the person there watching their money tree as the money is growing. Sevens can also be about reflection. So it's reflecting on what's been, reflecting on what is happening, what is going on around you. And just sort of looking at your life and reviewing it really, you know, making sure you're on the path where you want to be you know what is it that you want Cause sometimes we just plod along in life and we don't really sit and plan and think so it is a time to do that to make sure you are heading in the right direction and you are going where you want to be think about your goals your achievements your passions your desires what is it you want to do in life you know and bring these things into uh, into your pathway you've got the two of cups as well so again this can signify a coming together in a relationship for some of you it could be a new relationship for others it could be a commitment within a current relationship it could even be a business partnership or just a good friend that is supporting you but it shows two people coming together for a common goal a common achievement and that's really really good and you've also got the three of cups as well look celebrations you see the three girls there dancing in the grapes, celebrating abundance, happiness, family gatherings coming together. Again, that can signify, you know, an engagement, a wedding, 
it's a really really good card to have it just shows that there's something worth celebrating for you Gemini in June and you've also got the death card here so you really are moving forward forward you're letting go of the past and you're moving forward you've got these good times coming up and these celebrations when we lay another card over the top of the death card it's the high priestess and the high priestess it's all about looking within so for me the death card for you is about leaving behind an old feeling the old beliefs that you used to carry. It could be that you wasn't very confident, that you didn't have much love for yourself. You felt that you wasn't worthy. Now you realise that you are. You realise that you are worthy. You realise that there is someone out there who loves you. There is someone out there for you. So you're leaving away, moving away from those old thoughts and you're moving into a happier time where you know you're worthy. You're feeling more confident. You're feeling much stronger. And you also trust in your intuition and your inner voice, your inner guidance. We all have that intuition and that, you know, that, that inner voice that guides us. And sometimes we don't listen. But now that you're moving into pastures new and you're moving to a time where you trust yourself, you also trust your feelings, you trust your thoughts. Because you're feeling more confident within yourself. So that's, it's really good, Gemini. It really does feel like June is a really good month for you for just leaving the past behind, those thoughts of self-doubt, you're leaving them all behind and you're moving forward to a much more confident, loving, much more emotionally fulfilment. So that's really, really good. We've got some spirit animal oracle cards here. So I'm just gonna give those a shuffle, Gemini, and we will just see uh, Pull one of those and we'll just see uh, what that says for you as well. The frog, purification, clearing out the clutter. And for you, Gemini, I don't see this as physical clutter. I see this as emotional clutter, mental clutter. You're getting rid of these old thoughts, as we said before, this self-doubt, this lack of confidence. You're getting rid of it all. It could be that you had a childhood where you wasn't praised, a childhood where, you know, you just wasn't given that confidence and you was made to feel less important. But now you know that you are. So you're getting rid of those old feelings and you're moving forward to be more stronger, more confident, more self-worth and just a much more happier loving time. I just feel like I want to pull another card. Look at that. The Ace of Swords. The swords are all to do with the thoughts. So again, it's new thoughts. New thoughts, new thinking coming alive for you. And I feel for June and July, Gemini, you really are moving to a time where you can get rid of the old feelings and you really are thinking new thoughts. You know, use affirmations. Choose happiness, success and abundance in your life. Know your self-worth. Attract positive people and events into your life. You really are moving towards that time now where you know that you're an awesome human being. You know that you are worth it. You are strong. You are confident and you are loved. And you're just going to move forward into that time 
and just going to be it's just going to be so much better for you and when you're feeling more confident in life you know good things start to happen because you've got the confidence to go for the, your goals and desires you've got the confidence to plunge ahead and it makes life changing things happen for you gemini so i'm really really pleased for you and I hope you're happy with this reading this month. And if you are, then don't forget to click that like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to check out the description box below to visit my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. And uh, I hope I'll see you again next month.